All right, what's up YouTube? So I'm starting this video off where I left off yesterday's video, which is still the same day because I went inside and edited yesterday's video today. That's why I'm wearing the same clothes. So I'm trying to get this build done um, somewhat quicker. Actually have the bike take shape because later on this week, um, the wheels should be coming in and I wanna have everything ready so I can put the wheels on and uh, whatnot. So I got to right now run to Lowe's, grab some uh, high quality black high gloss spray paint and uh, so I can cover that side cover, paint that side cover, same thing. But if you guys are new and this is the first video you're watching and you wanna see the rest of this build, go down below, hit the subscribe button, click that little bell next to the subscribe button and hit all notifications. This applies if you're already subscribed, that way you'll see my videos when they come out. Because YouTube doesn't send you out the video unless you click that bell, so click it, hit all notifications. Follow the dedicated Instagram account for the build, which is at ProjectKX125, along with my personal account, at Tyler Monaghan. Now for the plugs, we're heading to Lowe's, I'm picking up paint. Now they are trying to get to me. Stop trying to lecture me. You don't compare to my level of thinking, so why do you think you compare to my All right, so I just got back from Lowe's. I got a couple different paints here to choose from that I thought of using. So one being, since my hubs are kind of this color, I don't want to spoil it, but I guess I just did. So that's kind of similar to the hubs, or as close as I could find at Lowe's. And then I got gloss clear coat. And then I also got um, a gloss high temp black that I might use as the base. And then if I don't end up liking this color or whatnot, I can always just cover it up with some black, then re-hit it with the gloss. So that's my thinking on that. And then other various things, I got some clamps for the uh, the radiator hoses and whatnot, a couple new clamps, because the other ones are all rusted out. All right, so first step, we're gonna rebuild this kickstart, get it all freshened up. I'm gonna go from there. I don't really have a specific order on what I wanna do. Obviously, I think I'm gonna do the bearing since I'm kinda on a bearing thing from doing the linkage and whatnot. So bearings on the swing arm. Get this on there. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna just jump right into uh, putting stuff back together. So a little update here as I have finished up the build. It's been like a couple hours since I filmed the last clip. Kind of want to update you on some of the things that I did as you saw, kind of justify why I did it, what I did, so some of you can kind of learn from it, or just to uh, support myself before you go down and comment that I did something wrong. So um, over here, as you saw, got the swing arm on, shock in. I'm gonna have to take out the top of the shock for the conversion kit to go in, but just for now, but just for now it's fine until tomorrow when I actually get the whole conversion kit on which should be the next video, which is putting all the 17 or 18 plastics on here with the conversion kit. Should be, should be the next video depending on, I really would like to have the, 
the top end in before I put the tank and all that crap in. But maybe I'll get some of the conversion kit on. Anyways, the first thing I started on was the front races. To get those in, the top one actually, when I heated it up, it slid right in, almost in. Then I had to go down maybe another, barely anything. So I took the old top bearing, put it in there since it's junk, put it in the race and then just hammered on the bearing and it kind of it went in far enough until it hit the bottom. So that top one was good. And then as far as the bottom one, I don't think I filmed very much on it, but same deal, I heated it up. It just pressed right in. And what I had to do is flip the whole frame over on the stand, still strapped down. I took the other brace, the, the stock one, I kind of used this edge and I pushed it on the race and then malleted that in using the race on the race, if that makes any sense. So anyways, I got them in, it worked. I mean, it probably wasn't the best way to do it. I should have used like a press thing or some other tools or a punch thing, I didn't have it, so swinging it, and uh, it ended up working out. It's all solid, nice and smooth. Got the bars mounted up. I also have the clutch cover that I was painting over here drying. I'll show you that on the bike, but here's a little preview. It's like a bronze stock cover. Why not, until I get the hints and the one in in June. Then over here, before I put these on, we got the Raptor pegs. Huge, huge shout out to Raptor. Raptor Titanium for hooking it up with custom pegs. Um, they're also on my 250F over here. As you can see, they hooked it up on that too. Raptor is definitely a company that I would fully, fully support. Like, they don't even make these pegs for the 125. And when I got the pegs for the 250, I brought up the fact that I'm doing the 125 build. It only told me that they didn't make them for the 03. Then they actually said that they can make them for me. It will for sure keep your boots on the pegs. That is a fact. So if you want to check out uh, Raptor Titanium, I'll leave the link down below in the description. I think I'm going to heat the wash tank up over here and then clean up this wiring harness and whatnot so I can put the uh, the flywheel in and uh, not just leave that cover on there along with the clutch. I still haven't put in the oil, but I also have gotten so many questions on the conversion kit over here that I'll mention in tomorrow's video. I'll go into detail on everything, but if you want to check them out, it's just CN Powders on Instagram. You can DM them or give them a follow. They hooked it up with a conversion kit with all the bolts, everything I could possibly need to put it together. Um, and they're like one of two or three people that actually have made a conversion kit for the 125. So definitely check them out. I'll put their Instagram on the screen right here. Give them a follow. It only works on 2003 through 2005 or to 2008. It might fit on a 250, so I wouldn't count this conversion kit out. Hopefully everything lines up good and seems like a lengthy process to get this all figured out and whatnot, but that's the fun in the build. Uh, you guys will be along for that process. So Also something I want to touch base on are the 2010 forks that I put on here as far as fitment if somebody also wants to put a newer style um, fork and triple clamp on there. I had no issues still utilizing the uh, 03 races and bearings. I believe for the shock, if you were to upgrade that, you might have to get a different linkage arm, I believe. Don't quote me on it. I know people put the 17 or 18 um, rear shock on here. Just minor adjustments here and there, as would be for a build that not many people have done or do, and nobody really has like a how-to video on how to build one of these things. So let me quit talking, and I will get back into this build. I've been thinking about this for like 10 minutes, like trying to figure it out. Is this clutch cable right here, as you can see the tip um, is kind of like more uh, square, I guess you can say, to the original, which is like kind of a little pin that, the main problem I'm having is I can't get it into this hole right there to go into the clutch. So whatever way you bend it, you can't really fit it in there without it being this size. So I might've ordered the wrong uh, clutch cable since it, there's no possible way you can get it in there without possibly damaging even though on the slip right here from motion pro It says 03 right there and Then it says Kawi so or whoever sent it to me when I ordered it on eBay. That's my problem. I ordered it on eBay There you go. That's that just answered my question So after 
hours and hours of work. Here's the update, as you guys saw, on the bike. So it's actually starting to look like a bike now. Um, I pretty much have the whole, actually I didn't put the flywheel in. I have this uh, throttle tube. I'm probably not gonna run this throttle tube and housing because I wanna run the OEM one. I don't like the way the aluminum looks. The housing itself is like pretty much brand new after cleaning it up, so I'm gonna reuse this and then uh, just order a throttle tube tonight or probably tomorrow morning. Um, so I'll have that. I might actually, if any of you have tried the Outlaw Racing aluminum throttle tube with a bearing in it or two bearings so it's super smooth, let me know so I know if I should order that because I think it's like 35 or 40 bucks. Might be worth it because I really like when the throttle's like super snappy and smooth and not like gritty and grimy. So, But yeah, post your comment down below what you think of the bike so far. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. The linkage was pretty easy to put together too. Um, I don't think I touched base on that. But, and uh, like I said, it's finally taken shape. Also post your comment down below what else you think I should get for it. Any recommendations before uh, I finalize some things? And I still have a couple things I need to order, I think. I'm gonna go on Motorsport, put another cart together. Put the uh, the hoses in here. It was a stupid mistake on me uh, putting the radiators in there. So I'm probably gonna have to pop one of those off. So here's a look at this clutch cover on here. I know it kind of maybe clashes, but once I get the wheels in, you'll understand uh, the look I was going for. So let me know what you think about this. For being spray paint, it didn't come out too bad. There is a little like a little thing right there you can barely see, but for the most part for spray paint, I got a little like speckle in there. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. I don't think it came out too bad. I think it's pretty cool looking, but we'll see when we get everything on the bike and then see how it really looks with everything matching. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up part eight of the build. If you guys enjoyed it and you're new, definitely hit the subscribe button down below so you can see the future build on this. When I get in, probably next video should be the conversion kit plastics or actually I still gotta button up a lot of stuff. So maybe that might be part 10, the conversion kit and the plastics. We'll see where we get tomorrow. Possibly Saturday or Sunday I'll have the conversion um, kit video up. Like I always say, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. So go down below, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to follow the dedicated Instagram page for the build, which is at Project KX125, so you can see all the stuff up to date before the videos come out. And off of that, I'll see you guys in the next one.